this was totally my fault. I can't blame anyone else. I thought the store was closed all the way, but it wasn't. And then when I got home, I came around the corner here and saw that this front door was completely open and we had been gone for hours and so immediately my heart starts pumping fast thinking somebody broke into our house while we were at Costco so I go in and I check everything the family fudge the family fudge they are mostly sweet but full of nuts Fudgies. Today we're headed to Costco, so come along with us. So these girls and I have been working in the boys' room all day. We're working on a really fun surprise bedroom makeover, so if you want to see that video, you can click the link up here. But we're taking a break while the paint dries. We're going to meet up with the boys and head to Costco. We need to pick up the groceries for the week. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Let's go. Okay guys, now before we head out, did anybody notice a problem with this front door on our last Costco haul? Anybody? I'll go ahead and play it back so you can see it. My husband and I were standing here and we were so excited to go to Costco. We were having this $100 challenge and then we left. And then when I got home, I came around the corner here and saw that this front door was completely open and we had been gone for hours and so immediately my heart starts pumping fast thinking somebody broke into our house while we were at Costco. So I go in and I check everything and thankfully everything looked fine. Nobody was in our house, nobody touched anything, but I was in panic mode thinking I left the store open. This is my fault. I need to find out a solution. So long story short, my husband got in contact with a company called Vivint. They have something called the smart home system that can actually alert you if you forget to lock your door and you can even use it to lock your door remotely and they're going to come take care of this so hopefully it will never happen again and if you guys are interested in Vivint, I'll go ahead and put a link down below. If you sign up with them right now, you can get a free doorbell camera installation if you use our code FAMILYFUDGE. So let me know if this has ever happened to you this was totally my fault I can't blame anyone else I thought the store was closed all the way but it wasn't and it just so happened to be a windy day so it was completely open I'm so thankful nothing went wrong now we can go to Costco and I'm making sure it's locked this time so we met up with our guys and we're headed to Costco right now and let me just say I am so thankful for AC today because it's over a hundred and I'm tired painting Painting the room and moving the furniture has worn me out. I might just take a nap on the way to Costco. Forty-five minutes later, we're at Costco. Both Jackson and Griffin are sleeping. Mackenzie and Lily have been watching What Blaze and the Monster Machines. Now we're gonna go in and see what we need. There's a hand coming from the back. Hi, Candy. Hi. She's still in her painting clothes from our makeover, which we still need to finish, by the way, so let's get going. And I almost forgot that we stopped by the P.O. Box and got some special letters from you guys. So at the end, we're gonna open this up and some other mail that we got and say thank you to you guys. There they are. The boys woke up and they're ready to go inside. But before we do that, what do we have to do? No okay. Wait a minute. Before we say the rules, the floor is lava. Five, four, four three, three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> everybody's safe. Are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm just gonna roll away. We're roll it away. Lava? We're playing floor, the floor is lava in the store? Yeah. You think that's a good idea? Yeah. As long as you don't get in trouble. Okay, okay. Let's go. My part, we're going. Let's go. Hi. Did you know the floor is lava right now? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh no, Lily didn't make it. Lily didn't make it. Five, four, three, the cheese is lava. The cheese is lava. For all you moms out there, just know that when we go to Costco, we are the loud, crazy group. It's kind of embarrassing, but I'm trying to go with it. Okay guys, I have to show you these because they totally caught my eye. It's two tumblers, but I wouldn't get those ones. I would get these ones. There's a teal one and a pink one. Both are 20 ounces and they're only $14.99. <gasps> and there's lemon, strawberry yeah. lemonade. It comes with strawberry lemonade. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. You wanna buy it for me? Oh, okay. You have no money. <laughs> well, if you have no money, you can't buy it. Give me some fucking ranch. 
That's like her favorite joke now. <laughs> She's saying a fork and ranch, FYI. We made it out of Costco. We spent only $150. I need to pop into Walmart. We need to get gas and then we're headed home. Somebody is still tired. Okay guys, time to show you the haul. We made it back home. We spent about $150 at Costco and about $60 at Walmart. I gotta get all this stuff put away and then finish the boys' room makeover. I still have a lot to do in there. But let me go ahead and show you the things from Costco first. Starting with this really cute dress. I just hung it up here so you guys could see it. I got this for Lily. It was $12.99. It's a perfect little summer dress and I love blue on her, it matches her eyes. Over here on the table, we picked up a big thing of laundry detergent and this is the free and clear kind. We really like this kind. It's good for clothes, but it's also good for making slime, <laughs> if you like to make slime. We got some of this organic almond milk and then these are new, I'd never seen these before. These are non-witches, so it's chicken tikka masala wrapped in naan bread. That looks delicious. So I'm gonna, I'm excited to give those a try. We also got a thing of strawberry jam. They haven't had this for a long time at my Costco. So we were happy to see that because it's our favorite. I also got some barbecue sauce. This is our favorite kind. Perfect for making chicken and just anything. It's so good. We got a thing of eggs. I would have gotten rotisserie chicken, but when we were there, they didn't have any. So I was totally bummed, but oh well. We also got two big bunches of bananas, a bag of avocados. We got this salad kit. This is a strawberry harvest. It's really good. It has feta cheese in there and kale and broccoli. It's very good. We picked up some bacon. This was $2.99 a pound, so it's not too expensive right now. It's definitely been more expensive recently. We also got a bag of this garlic chicken. This is fully cooked. It's noodles and chicken and vegetables, and it's already seasoned. This was on sale for $5.99. Unfortunately, it's not gluten-free, so my husband can't eat it, but everybody else, hopefully, will enjoy it. And of course, we got our cheese. You know, Griffin loves cheese. So we got the Havarti and the cheddar. We also picked up a watermelon. Last time our watermelon from Costco was not good at all. It was pink. Hopefully, this one will be better. We also got a big thing of chips. These are the multi-grain tortilla, tortilla chips, I can talk. And these are definitely my favorite. I love the different um, grains in there. And that is everything from Costco. So not a whole lot, but we are getting ready to go out of town again in about a week and a half. Mom, don't forget my book. Oh yes, I also finally got Kenzie her book. It's Mallory. I have no idea what it's about, but is it good? Yeah. She earned this book finally after, after so many days. And now on to the things from Walmart. Not too many things. I did pick up this Rising Crust Pepperoni Pizza. These are only like $2.50 and they're pretty good. And I also picked up this Udi's gluten-free one for my husband. This was on clearance for $2, which for a gluten-free pizza is a really good deal. So this is definitely gonna be for Friday pizza night this week. I also got the kid's favorite yogurt. This is the Activia Vanilla. If I let him, Jackson would eat like this whole contain, this whole package in like a couple days. He loves this stuff. We also got some string cheese. This is the frozen string cheese. And as you can tell, I already got into it. The kids needed a snack on the drive home. We also got some taco blended cheese. This is for one of the lunches this week. I got some celery. Some of this hummus, I've never tried this brand before, but it looks good. This is just the classic organic hummus. And then these are new. These look like kiwis, but instead they're like yellow inside and it says a refreshing tropical sweet taste. So hopefully they'll be good. I also got a bag of frozen berries. This is for smoothies. And normally I get this at Costco, but Costco, but Costco didn't have any. So I picked up the Walmart version instead. For Miss Lily, I picked up a big bag of pears. She loves pears. And then I also got some of this holy guacamole. I do have some avocados over here, but they're pretty hard. And these are ready right now. So we'll have these over the next couple of days. And then as soon as these are ripe, we'll have these. I also got a small bag of sweet cherries. These are so tasty this time of year. And then this is something I've never purchased before. This is a sweet young coconut. So you can actually eat some of the coconut on the inside and drink 
the water as well. So I'm excited to give this a try. Back over here, we picked up one cantaloupe. This whole thing was only a buck fifty, so it's not too bad. And then I also got four ears of corn. They were 25 cents each, so not the cheapest, so I just got four for now. And then I got some convenience pancakes. The kids love these, they're fully cooked. These are actually great for traveling. They like the chocolate chip ones normally, but I decided to try the banana pancakes this time. The last food item I picked up was this loaded potato salad. This is going into a lunch this week, and I didn't want to make a ton of potato salad, so I just got this little thing to try. Hopefully it'll be good. And then lastly, I went ahead and picked up two hats for myself. I really like this style of hat. I'm not quite sure what this style is called, but they're really comfortable and they were on clearance. And you know, some days I just don't feel like fixing my hair. I feel like I'm having a bad hair day. And so I thought I would get some really cute hats, put them on my head and go throughout my day. Just make it happen. Now, as you can probably tell, it's been a hot and sweaty day for everyone. I'm so glad to be home in the AC where it's nice and cool. Oh, bless you. So these guys are gonna tell you their favorite item and, and then we're gonna show you some of the letters we got. So Kenzie, your favorite is the? Book. I'm not surprised. Lily, your favorite is? The berries. Frozen berries. This girl loves smoothies even more than I do. And this is frozen string cheese. I love this. I've tried it and I almost ate two packs of them. Oh my goodness. Mail time. Thank you, Irina, for this beautiful shirt. We love Mickey and Minnie. That is adorable. Thank you, confetti cards. These are so clever. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to these in the description box below. These are similar to kindness rocks. If you guys have ever heard of these, where you can put them in random places and other people can find them. Oops, this is upside down. But it all has, they all have positive quotes on them. So why fit in when you were born to stand out? Things like that. I love this idea. And I'll go ahead and put a link down below if you want to check these out. Thank you, Antoinette, for the cute Mickey soap and tie. Thank you, E-Driver. Now she actually sent us two cards full of lots of little treasures. We have this one, and she made this one, and she also made this one, and she's all the way in the Netherlands, so thank you. Thank you, Riley. And we have a big, big thank you to Summers in Alaska. They have a YouTube channel. I will link it down below. They're awesome family vloggers, and they sent us a special craft that they made. We're gonna open this in a separate video. I'm so excited, so stay tuned for that. This is the Sticky Bunny. Oh yeah, that's from eDriver. You love Sticky Bunnies. <laughs> so cute. Riley has a YouTube channel and it's called Riley's Recipes. Ooh, we should definitely check it out. That sounds awesome. We also want to give a big thank you to Erin Parker who sent us this awesome box of goodies. Should we open it? Yeah! yeah. Whoa, look, it's airplane spoons. You mean planes? <gasps> Griffin's going to love those. And we have cookie cutters. Oh, perfect for lunches. And we have some crackers. Ooh, Our cookies? Butter shortbread cookies. Ooh. Popcorn bags. Popcorn, Popcorn bags. bags. Oh, that's perfect for family okay. movie night. Ooh, there's little bags for us. Okay, everyone check out their bags. So, oh, put that back in. Check out your bag. Okay, pick your bag. Whoa. Oh, Minnie and the Happy Helpers. Minnie and I got. Oh, These those are, are pretty big bags. Those are adorable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> a bunch of colorful straws. Ooh, perfect. Uh, uh, a Cocoa Krispies treat bar. That's two. 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 Ew, stickers. <laughs> you love stickers. And that. <laughs> paper and that's all. Thank you, Erin. And we also got this beautiful card all the way from the UK. Thank you, Lisa and Duke love it. This is so cute. And last, we have to say a huge, a big thank you to Jean. Open it up, guys. Oh, it's so cute. What's inside? Whoa, cool. Disney gift card. Whoa, no a way. gift card. <gasps> Are you going to use that at Disneyland? Yeah. What do you tell Jean? Thank you. Thank you so much. Whoa. What? It's for all gift cards. It's for all of us. We have some for all of us. Oh, that is so nice of her. That's so generous. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 
Boy, boy, boy. You got two of them? Yeah. Say thank you.